What's happening YouTube boy Tech Tricks back in another video and today we're looking at the Zhiyun We Build 3. We're gonna review it today and see how well it does. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell so you could be notified of next videos to come up tips and tricks and reviews just like this one. Check out my merch below at 1130.ca. Hit the like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. Without further ado, let's go ahead and show you what this thing can do. Basically, this is a three axis gimbal, fairly lightweight, and it has a few features that no gimbal out there has. So here we go. Now the Weibo 3 is so easy to carry because of the A4 paper-like size, 1.1 kilograms, and up to 21 hours of battery runtime. It also has fast charging. It only needs two hours to fully charge. It helps creators save 40% effort in use with the new sling and the wrist rest design. It also has a built-in fill light and a microphone so that you don't have to carry those two things in your bag. So they did send this to me. It came with the gimbal and also it comes with the bag. So look, look at this bag. It kind of reminds me of um, Gara from Naruto. And it's like a backpack, snapsack like this. And your gimbal just comes inside here. A few accessories on the bottom as well. You can see here. Opens up like so. Pretty handy to have. I was able to have my camera ready to go inside here and I just pull it out and it's balanced and ready to go and shoot. The Wii Build 3 also has this arm if you want a top down shot like so, really easily. Quite balanced actually. And then one of a kind wrist guard right here which is really useful when you're holding it with one hand. Uh, you won't have that strain on your hand. All the weight will be going towards your wrist right here, which makes it easier so that you'll be able to um, control the analog up here. Very nice. The bottom also has a tripod mount to be able to add that down there. It's also a nice grip when you're shooting as well. And then once you're ready to go, you just open up like so and set it down nice and easy the gimbal also has a, a tool that comes in the bottom it's magnetically attached there so you just pull it out and then you can use this to mount your camera so that you have a tool there all the time the Weibo 3 also comes with a couple of plates one that will attach to your camera just a small one and then that attaches to this long plate it also gets tightened with an easy lever on the side which is really nice and then the front of that plate and then if you have long lens you, the front of that plate also has a lens mount on the right side of the gimbal it has a charging port the USB-C and a mic jack it also has an analog a record button and a manual button and as you can see there it works with my Panasonic G9 it also has a tiny screen it changed from the WeBuild 2 that has a little monitor thing here it just Focus on more on um, settings here. Uh, quick settings, nothing too crazy. Um, there's more settings on the app as well. Now, a few things that makes this special versus other gimbals is it has um, light as well right here. It also came with different filters here. It pretty much has two magnets on top and bottom, and that's how you install it. Just sits right there. Now with the little toggle on the side, um, you can change the settings to warmer or brighter. And on the bottom here, it comes with a mic. Now check, check, check. Um, we are using the mic on the WeBuild 3 now. Uh, let me know in the comments below if it's any good or not. Um, yeah, pretty much just connected via wire here on the mic jack on the Panasonic G9 from the uh, mic jack on the Weibo 3. Let me know in the comments below if it's any good or not. Um, again, this is a tap test right here. That's the uh, Weibo 3. Now we're going to test out the light. One with the light right here. We'll turn it on like so. Uh, this is the yellow light. We're going to maybe change it to 
a brighter light right here boom let me know in the comments below uh, if that helped a little bit we're gonna lower it to the lowest to the most yellow now right here change it to the most yellow there it is again let me know in the comments below if it's any good or not it's pretty bright actually um, let's uh, let's change it change the brightness now to the lowest level right there and to the highest level see the difference there let me know in the comments below if that's any good or not as well Here's some footage that I've taken with the WeBuild 3 as well, Panasonic G9. And even when I'm running right behind this scooter right here, um, as you could see, it's pretty stable. Um, you could see a little bit of jitters because of uh, my big steps, but I'm not doing any ninja walk or nothing like that. I'm just normally running. And as you could see here, you can pan out stuff as well, like this, follow someone like so, and then do a pan out of landscape as well. This is really useful if you are doing a wedding shot, um, doing a bunch of gigs that need stable shots, um, pretty stable, even just for panning out, following people. Um, this is really useful for that. If you want to use it for like close-up shots as well, make it stable, you can do that as well. I find that if you do it post-production and if you do it handheld, it does have a little bit of jitters, but with the Weibo 3, it was able to do shots like these, um, have lighting with you and mic with you all the time, um, which is really awesome to have with you if you are doing a bunch of shots on the go. If you're a minimalist like me, you don't want to bring an extra mic with you, an external mic or maybe an external light with you. That saves a lot of spot on your backpack, especially if you're going on a plane ride or maybe you're driving to do a gig. Usually it's out of town and you'll be able to save spots on your uh, for a lens or maybe another uh, B cam or something like that with the Weibo 3. Now, if you are a Lumix fan, I'm shooting with Lumix uh, G9 right here with the Makey 25mm Cine lens. And this is really useful because this gimbal is actually compatible with Lumix and you'll be able to charge your Lumix G9 or whatever Lumix camera you have via uh, micro USB on the side, as you can see there. And as you can see on my battery on the top right corner, it is charging. Let's try a few maneuvers here. So for example, this will tilt it side to side, which you can also customize so that it would use the full of focus as well. Just really depends on what you want it to control. There's also this, which uh, put it on center there. There's also the knob on the other side, which you can change by doing so. You can do like three, sips right here and then it'll go to portrait mode it'll go to like a selfie style so you'll be able to like vlog with this and to bring it back you just hit it three times again and you're good to go on top here you might just want like you don't have to hold it too much it's pretty light as you can see there i'm using my left hand as well one thumb and you'll be good to go you can even have one finger as you can see there, maneuver your uh, gimbal, no problem at all. Now there is also an app for the Weibo 3, which is the Zyplay. Pretty much you'll be able to control your um, gimbal with your phone. So you can swivel it doing that, like so. There's also an analog button right here, so you can tilt up or down and then swivel to side to side as well, which is really nice to see. You can trigger the record button up here as well by hitting that, and that will trigger the record button on the camera as well. There's also the shutter button right here, which will take a photo, as you hear there, really nice. Now on top here, the red button up there, you can change the time lapse or uh, panorama or trajectory photography. You can also change how it swivels here. There's DPF and then F and then L, phone go, and then there's the POV, and then there's the vortex. 
Let's try the vortex here. Nice. So you'll be able to shoot up upwards. Now, if your camera has a digital zoom, you'll be able to do that with this as well. The W and L right there. This is where you can change the calibrations as well. Six axis motion calibration and change the camera brand. Change the strength as well to low, medium, high. And that's it for the day, everyone. Thanks for watching. I hope I was able to help you on your choice on a brand new three axis gimbal. This one's by Ziyun, We Built 3. If you wanna get one of these, I'll link this down below, so go ahead and check that out. If you are a creator like me, if you want a gimbal that is easy to use, very ergonomic, then this is the gimbal for you. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more videos like these. Make sure to hit the like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. I hope you guys have a good day and stay grateful. Peace.